So we're finished with preparing the camper for priming and painting. We got the windows taped up. So. And yesterday Nick vacuumed everything and cleaned it. Wiped it down. Wiped it down with a damp rag. So everything's clean and ready to be primed. And this is the primer yeah. that we're mixing. I got this one, two, three bullseye primer. It's like the most expensive out there. But it has the best adhesion. It's mold and mildew resistant. And I just wanted to get the most expensive one because we have wallpaper in here. And a lot of these cabinets are like have the clear coat on. We really sand everything down the walls and the cabinets, and I even sand down the ceiling and everything. But still, I want to get one that has really good adhesion just to make sure yeah. it sticks well. You just have to like scuff it up a little bit, the shiny stuff. There's primer that goes like uh, good, better, and best adhesion, and this one has the best adhesion. So I think it should be fine. It says on there that you can prime uh, glossy surfaces without even sanding. It's probably not true, but... Oh. Oh, okay, that was bad. Okay, Nick's gonna put on the first brush stroke of primer for the whole camper. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> <laughs> That's how it more. That's crazy. Are you excited? Huh? We're finally at the painting stage. Yeah. My goodness. This is the stage where if you bought a camper without any water damage, you'd be starting right now. <laughs> but we had a lot of water damage and rot. This whole bed was rotten. So now we have spent months doing that, and now we're finally starting on this. Yeah. That's what I was always thinking, like, how these people remodel their camper so fast. Like, yeah. they don't do any of their surround spot stuff, they don't just paint and everything. Yeah, some people don't even repair the rot. Yeah. They just, like, Prime it. do some outward fixes and that's it, but they don't really fix the rot. Yeah. And this app, just, like, cosmetic stuff is, like... A lot faster and easier than Yeah. I mean, I can't even imagine if you had to live in here with all the rot, though. Yeah. Like, it stank really bad. Now it smells fresh and clean. Yeah, because everything's just new.
Okay, I got this whole area primed. It's kind of hard in the cabinets to put in there. But yeah, I did the ceiling too. The floor. I think I'm going to do another coat on the floor later on when this dries. Because that's where the mattress is and usually people say that's where all the condensation builds up and starts molding and stuff. So. Wow, look how nice everything looks. Everything's all nice and white and clean. Yeah, me and Julie primed everything last night. Everything has dried overnight. It says the primer dries in an hour and it's been drying the whole night, so it's definitely dry. But yeah, everything looks so nice. It actually doesn't smell too bad in here. I thought it would smell a lot worse because last night it smelled really bad. So that's good. But yeah, today I'm gonna do like a second coat because you can see a lot of places the wood dark stain you can see through. And like on the walls you can see the little design still and stuff like that. And most of the stuff here is gonna be white. So I'm scared that the white paint one color of the darkness enough so I'm just gonna prime everything a second time we didn't do these areas because that's where the stick on tile will be so we didn't prime those like this area and this area right here so yeah I'm gonna do a second coat it's looking really nice it's kind of dark in here because all the windows are taped up so not lights not getting in, but still can't believe it. We're at this stage already. 